Welcome back to University Report. I'm Johnny Shoemaker. With us today is Dr. David Schuler, a professor of theater here at UW Platteville. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Johnny. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, talk to me today and give me an opportunity to talk up the theater program here on no the campus. No problem, no problem. For uh, those of you that don't know, what are some of your duties here on campus? Well, as as an associate professor in any field, uh, my primary duties are teaching classes in the theater field uh, every semester. And those classes can range from production-oriented classes like acting and classes in voice and classes in movement to the more traditional academic theater classes like theater history and dramatic literature, critical theory, things like that. And then aside from that, uh, as you know, uh, we have a pretty active uh, theater production mm -hmm. season here on campus. We do four main stage or main productions every year, and then we finish our production season with a student-directed and acted one-act festival. And we are required, as, as part of our duties, to direct one play each semester. So okay. my colleague Ann Farrelly and I uh, direct the play each semester. Okay, very cool. Uh, as you were saying then, uh, please describe this upcoming season then. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the upcoming season in a few words, and then you can laugh and then I'll explain it. Syphilis, AIDS, suicide, hallelujah, and then the One Act Festival. <laughs> uh, needless to say, <laughs> it's other than the spring musical, which is Godspell, right. it's a really heavy season this year. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we're starting out with uh, one of Henrik Ibsen's plays. He's a Norwegian playwright, considered the father of modern drama, uh, okay. with his play Ghosts. It's also considered one of his social plays, uh, in that he, one of the reasons he was considered the father of modern drama is that he took on what were considered taboo subjects at the time head on, mm -hmm. on the stage, and he wasn't afraid to do it. Hence, hence the idea of venereal disease and the idea of um, heredity and all of that. So, and then we follow up with Larry Kramer's um, mid-1980 play, The Normal Heart, okay. which uh, is an AIDS play. It, it's Larry Kramer going off on how AIDS decimated uh, the gay community in the 1980s, and it's extraordinarily powerful. And it actually had a very successful run of uh, remounting on Broadway about a year and a half ago, and I'll get into in a second yeah, yeah. why we chose um, to program that. And then for the first show in the spring semester of 2014, we're doing Marsha Norman's Night Mother. Okay. It's a two-hander, a two-character play. It's a mother and daughter, and oh, it wow. deals very clearly with suicide. Uh, so as you can yeah. imagine, uh, that play does not have a happy ending at all. Right. I don't right. think I have to say much about Godspell. That's, uh, yeah sort of a modern retelling of the gospel right? Uh, and most people are familiar with the music but to talk a little bit m more about the season mm -hmm. we we choose our season and announce our season sometime in March beginning of April depending on when the spring musical is programmed or scheduled each year right we we decide it fairly early on and we we look at several several elements or several things we look at what kind of genres or styles of plays haven't we given the students an opportunity to mm -hmm. explore or experience. And we also look at, at variety within the season as far as cast sizes and how many uh, female roles and male roles we'll, we'll be able to offer and right. give students the opportunity to, to potentially perform in. And Early on, when we were discussing plays for this season, Dr. Farrelly talked about being interested in directing The Normal Heart at some point. Mm -hmm. And she went back and forth with that. And I had thrown Ghost out there, but I told her that I would only direct Ghosts if she directed The Normal Heart, because I thought in many ways they paired together. So. One of the things that Ghost deals with is venereal disease and specifically syphilis. Right. And so that was a scourge of the 19th, uh, 19th century. They didn't have a cure for that. And similarly, certainly in, in the 1980s when AIDS certainly exploded on the scene and became a, a pandemic in a way, there was no cure for that right. as well. So I thought they, 
they paired up interestingly in the sense that here we're looking at two sort of epidemics that hit uh, the world two centuries later and right. and the reaction, the world reaction to those epidemics through art and specifically right. through theater. So when Dr. Farrelly decided that indeed she wanted to do The Normal Heart and one of the reasons she decided to do it but not the only reason is because I'm uh, currently teaching the Gay and Lesbian Dramatic okay. Literature Seminar this semester and she thought well what a wonderful tie-in to, to that class as right. well. Uh, so that explains that and one of the things we can do in theater is is look at the human condition and and open up and bear the soul of the human condition for an audience and both Dr. Farrelly and I feel that theater can be at its best when we confront issues that make people uncomfortable right and certainly if you're talking about venereal disease you're talking about AIDS you're talking about suicide mm -hmm. those are three areas that can make people from time to time and, and in some cases often uncomfortable. So we wanted to take the opportunity to do that. If truth be told, we both favor the darker plays. We prefer okay. plays that don't necessarily end happily. And I don't know, maybe it has something to do with our personalities or, or the dark side of, of each one of us. But we've, we tend to favor those types of plays so I guess this type of season is not surprising, but it is very, very different right. from last season. Uh, why do you think students should come and see these shows even though they are so dark? Well, uh, first of all, I think what any art can do is, is force us to look at, at the world from a different perspective and to also encourage us to rethink what we think about right. um, different ideas, different topics. I mean, what I think the normal heart will do is force, the, force people on our campus who were not even born when this play was written and when right. the action of the play was taking place to, to have a better understanding of what the early AIDS crisis meant right. to this country right. and how thousands and thousands of men were dying. And in a short span of time, uh, people in the arts many of whom are gay, were gay, were, were losing friends and loved ones right. by the hundreds. Right. Um, I think suicide is an issue that we confront on college campuses Absolutely. and we confront with the, the young people on a daily basis. Right. And I think, again, putting that out as a conversation on stage gives us an opportunity to, to open yet another dialogue about Absolutely. what what are the telltale signs of a person who might be contemplating suicide right what what is it what kind of events happens happen in people's lives that might make them consider suicide or feel like they're hemmed in to such an extent that that's the only solution right. they can see and probably most importantly if we can become more aware aware of those signs then we can be more proactive right. at trying to get people help and preventing potential suicide. And yeah. certainly with the AIDS crisis, even though AIDS is certainly not a death sentence today, right. I think the gay community understands well, and, and remember with AIDS, we're not only talking about the gay community, we're talking about drug Anyone, users yeah. and, and people who, who have n not only the gay community, but heterosexuals who have multiple sex uh, multiple partners who might be at risk for uh, the acquired immune deficiency right. uh, syndrome disease as well. Okay. So uh, that's another reason to do that. Heavy stuff. Uh, I'm excited to see what you guys are going to do. So. Okay. Uh, this has been Johnny Shoemaker. We'll be right back after these messages.